Verbal Media lost its license to broadcast fringe bollocks, bullshit, batshit conspiracy theories, nonsense. That's actually a good thing. They applied to the government to get a subsidy, but it didn't work out for them. It apparently backfired because, you know, they verify everything. I've listened to that on Canada Land. No, seriously, I have. And, uh, they, they, it takes a lot to go through this. And they got rejected. And in turn lost their license to broadcast bullshit. That's actually a good thing. And no, that has nothing to do with freedom of speech. No, absolutely nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing to do with freedom of speech. No one is being censored. They aren't being censored. Otherwise, their website and domain would have been shut down by now. They always claim censorship. It's not censorship. Mind you, so I don't tilt my fucking head. Yeah, it's not censorship. They lost their license after they applied to further bash and falsely accuse the government of censoring freedom of speech, taking away people's rights, blah, 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 blah. You know what the delusional slash lunatic fringe does? You're probably well aware of all those... Oh, how do I get into this bullshit? Those irrational theories that they spread or create out of thin air. There's too, so many factions of the fringe. I'll name a few that are probably well known. Anti-vax, anti-seller, yes. GSM, Edge, 2G, 3G, LTE, 5G, CDMA, 1XRTT, UTMS, HSPA, you, you know. That's anti cellular and anti-wireless, which can mean Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, anti-RFID or NFC, you know those tap cards. Yeah. There's too many factions of the fringe. They are all delusional. There's no credible sources to back any of that up, and yet... Rebel has forwarded such bullshit. And they've misled so many people. Yes, misled clickbait. I won't even so much as touch that website no more. Yes, I used to be an avid reader way back. 18 years ago. I stopped when I got help. I just stopped. I had to remove all that French bollocks for my bookmarks and everything associated with it, gone. So, yeah. Anyways, I don't give a shit. Their fictitious loss is gonna lose. They can sue however many people they want. It's not gonna work. It's just gonna get tossed to the curb. Because, let's just say this very clear. Batch of conspiracy theories aren't real. They only make you delusional. They only take away your rationality. And the court's just going to throw that out like a piece of paper. See, uh, these are batch of conspiracy theories. See how tangled they are? That's what happens. The court's just going to throw it out. They're just going to clog the legal system again and again and again and again and again and again. And. It's just not going to work. It's just going to get thrown out every single time. So, yeah. Rebel News is not a reliable source, and they never will be. They'll be far worse than BlogTO, if you know what I mean. And I got nothing against BlogTO. They're fine. I don't just don't read most of their shit. But whatever. Yeah. That's it. Peace. Oh, and if I offended you, suck it up and go seek help. Exit cult therapy or counseling works and it helps people. Batch of conspiracy theories do not.